Hello, and welcome to our video on workflow automation inside Zoho CRM. With Zoho CRM's workflows, you can have a set of actions be executed when certain criteria are met. There are four key parts to creating a workflow inside the CRM. First, entering basic information. Second, selecting when the workflow will be triggered. Third, you'll have the option to set criteria if you'd like the workflow to only be applied to a certain set of records inside the CRM. Fourth, you'll get to select which actions you'd like to execute as a result of the trigger. For example, let's say we went to a trade show. For every new lead that I enter into my CRM that I met, I would like to send them a thank you email, follow up with them in a couple days, and also update their status to say that they've been contacted, all of which can be completed automatically with workflows inside the CRM. To begin, you'll need to log into Zoho CRM with administrator privileges. Click on Setup in the top right corner, then select Automation from the menu options. Now, click on Create Rule to begin. First, you will enter the basic information about the workflow. Select the module you'd like to automate. In our case, we will select Leads. Then, enter a name for the rule. Additionally, you can choose if you'd like this workflow rule to be active or inactive, and also enter a short description. Click Next to proceed. Second, select when you would like the action to be executed. In our example, we will select Create, because we want the action to be triggered every single time a new lead is entered into the CRM. Click Next to proceed. Third, you can choose to apply criteria, however, this is not mandatory. In our example, we'd only like this workflow to be applied to new leads whose lead source is Trade Show. So our criteria will be lead source is Trade Show. You can choose to add multiple criteria by clicking the Add Criteria button. Click Next to proceed. The last step is to select the actions of the workflow. Click the plus icon next to Send Alerts. Enter a name for the alert. Then, select the email template that you would like to have sent. Click who will receive the email. Once you are finished, save and associate. We want to automate the creation of a follow-up task. Click the plus icon next to Assign Tasks. Enter a name for the task. Select when you want the task to be due. In our case, we will select the due date to be three days after the workflow is triggered. Next, you can set the default status and priority level for the task. Lastly, you need to choose who the task will be assigned to and select if you would like the assignee to get a notification and if you would like the assignee to be reminded before the task is due. Once you're finished, click Save and Associate. The third and final action we'd like to complete is updating a field. Click the plus icon next to Update Fields. Select which module we want to update the field in. Select the field you'd like to have updated. In our case, we'll select Lead Status. And select a new value for this field to be populated. Once you're done, click Save and Associate. Click Save and our workflow rule is complete. Let's take a look at it in action. Click on the Leads tab and then click on the Plus New Leads button. Enter information about your lead, such as first name, last name, and any other details you wish to capture. The workflow rule we created will only be triggered for leads whose lead source is Trade Show, so you must select that value. Once you click Save, you'll be taken to the Leads Profile page. Here, we can see all the following actions that have happened. Under the Emails Related list, if you view Sent Emails from CRM, you will see the email that was automatically sent to this lead. Under the Open Activities Related list, you will see the follow-up task that was created. And finally, looking at the Lead Status field, you can see it has now been populated with a new value. We hope you enjoyed this video. Now you have a basic understanding of creating and executing workflow rules inside the CRM.